Hey guys, how's it going? So I'm back with my monthly series of the top 5 video tweaks, at least in my opinion, for the month of July. This episode has mostly free tweaks, I thought I'd change it up a bit, so without further ado, let's get into this. So my first tweak is a quick and a free one, and it's called Minimal Camera. It actually gets rid of the little taskbar that you have at the bottom of the camera app, which I know is very, very annoying when you're trying to take a photo or a video. You can disable and re-enable the bar by tapping with two fingers on the screen. That was Minimal Camera, and it is free on the Big Boss repo. Next tweak I have for you guys is called Phantom for Snapchat, which finally gives you the option to send a snap from your camera roll or your saved photos. There have been a lot of different apps made solely for this feature, but now there is a tweak for Snapchat. So not only can you send snaps from your camera roll, you can also edit them. But as you can see, if you don't edit them, it actually turns out like this, very stretched. You can also edit the fonts of the text, which adds to that level of customizability. Let's talk about status bar weather 7. Again, this is a free tweak and it gives you the feature of having the weather along with the temperature in your status bar, as you can see here. So in the settings, you can select to have your woe ID automatically fetched, which is your city. So I highly recommend doing that. Also, you can change your temperature unit depending on which one you use, Fahrenheit or Celsius. And lastly, you have the option to change how often the weather updates. Moving on, I'd like to show you a tweak called Predictive Keyboard, which gives you the iOS 8 style word suggestions at the top of your keyboard. I actually featured this in my How to Get iOS 8 on iOS 7 using Cydia tweaks, so definitely check that out in the description box below. So my last tweak is called Orky. It's actually paid, however, you can get it for free by using my tutorial. It'll be in the description below. You get a reply button on the notification and you have three options to cancel, open the message app to reply and also a quick reply. It's not as minimalist as the actual iOS 8 feature, however I'm sure that we'll get an upgrade in the near future. In the Orky settings you can enable it on and off and switch between light and dark mode. For example if I go to the compose message in the notification center by simply pulling down, it gives me a light keyboard and a white window for it and vice versa for dark mode. So, thank you for watching this video guys, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you'd like to see more of my content, and as always, I will catch you in the next video.